hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see about the hbase so we'll see that what is this and what are the common functionality of hbase so let's start now hbase is very critical component of apache hadoop software framework so like we explained in previous tutorial of apache hadoop so where we explained that this is a complete software framework right so this this here is the apache hbase so apache hbase is a part of hadoop systems now how it generated so basically apache uh, this hbase is open source distributed database model after google's big table so first it was google's big table then when they uh, when they exposed to world then then through the open source community this was designed hbase right so the main coding language of hbase is java so now uh, basically this hbase is a no sql database right like no sql databases like mongodb cassandra hbase they all are no sql databases and sql databases like mysql oracle right so this is no sql databases and again in no sql this is uh, this is column oriented no sql databases like mongodb which is document based and there is a there is cassandra and hbase which are column oriented so column oriented database means basically they have the column families in rows and again if you want to know more about the column families so you could see my other tutorial where i have explained that what is column family databases or column oriented databases but in a brief it's like let's say if you have a address and in address you have the uh, you have your house number you have your street number you have city so what we do we basically create the columns family so in a column family let's say this column family is address so this column family will contain the address city number street number state number right so this is column family so generally uh, the data is where we have the big tables big data so these kind of databases use this uh, column oriented like cassandra like uh, hbase right so they can handle the big data that is why they have column oriented so this hbase is basically built on top of the hdfs right because this is a uh, this is in the hadoop file system hadoop systems and hdfs is again a part of hadoop right so hbase is on the top of the hadoop so basically it provides the big table like capabilities for hadoop right now uh, hbase features compression in memory operation and filters on per column basis so what is mean it means let's say we have a column so let's say column is a uh, address or column is name right so what it does so basically now we are dealing with a big data so hbase features a compression it basically compresses the data and in memory operation so in memory operation is very important thing due to in memory it has the fast read and write access for the uh, real application or for the live data right like the hdfs we does not have this in memory operation so that is why we use hdfs for mainly the analytical operations but here we can we can use hbase for the real applications or the live applications right because it has in memory operation so what it does on column first it compress then it does the in memory operation and filter right so that is why it has a fast read access and the fast write access right now uh, the tables in a hbase can serve as a input and output for the map reduce jobs run in hadoop and may be accessed through the java api but also through rest ivro and drift gateway api so let's say we have a hadoop system and in hadoop we are we have the hdfs as well so now what happens that uh, the tables in hbase they can directly communicate to hbase through read as well as through the write right and how it communicate to the hdfs it communicate to the hdfs through java api as well as we have the avro apis rest apis and thrift gateway apis so like in our systems where where we use the hdfs for storing the bulk data for users data so what we do about on the top of the hdfs we have the hbase so the important data first uh, we put some of the data to hbase and then we use the avro api now hbase can handle large data sets making it useful for varied business scenarios so uh, there are some H there are some databases like cassandra so cassandra basically use some specific type of data structure that is why uh, that is why we need to think more while designing the uh, schema for cassandra 
but in hbase we can store any data it can be image it can be file it can be your simple text or anything so that's uh, so that's a very big benefit that it can handle large data set so that we can use it anywhere now hbase is not appropriate for batch analytic instead it is used to write and read operations from hadoop in real time so that's what i was telling you that normally we use the batch analytic for for on the hdfs because hdfs use the data lake and and then we can use the algorithm and then we can put the algorithm to find out what is the what is for analysis right but hbase hbase is mainly used for the real time application for just read and write right we we should not use it for the analyst, analytic operations right and that is why for larger table it offers the fast lookup now uh, hbase boast of in memory processing engine that drastically increase the speed of read and write so that's what i was uh, discussing just before that it has the in memory processing engine so due to of this the speed it increases the speed of read and write now these are the some of the major component of hbase architecture one is zookeeper hmaster server and region server so zookeeper from the term itself you could identify that like let's say zookeeper so the role of zookeeper is to is to handle all the animals so same thing happen here so basically it's a part of hadoop system and zookeeper handle all the distributed systems like who is the leader in the server on all the server and let's say if another if one server down so it automatically make the another leader another server leader right then it has the naming convention all that thing so basically it's a keeper of distributed systems now in next tutorial we'll explain what is zookeeper so you could see more details there so the main component of hbase architecture is hbase is a zookeeper then it has the hmaster server and region server so from the name itself you can identify that one is a master server and other are the region server so basically in hbase also if it is a very big system so definitely there are some region server and there are some master server so that's it guys about the hbase we have explained that uh, what are the critical component of hbase then how does it work and uh, this is column oriented and all that thing about hbase that how it communicate right so that's it for this video and if you have any doubt regarding hbase or if you think that uh, there is any good database good database which we can use in big data then hbase so please write in the comment section i would love to answer that so thanks guys and if you have got your information please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you